interesting finding, autism. Autism, people have been looking for what's up biologically, and the initial assumptions would be there's not going to be enough neurons in some part of the brain, or maybe too many in another. What appears to be the case so far is there's a relatively normal number of neurons in the cortex. But then some people started studying the projection profiles of neurons in the cortex of individuals with autism post-mortem, very rare to get these, and you see a power law distribution, but it's a different one. It's a steeper one. What does that mean? In the cortex of autistic individuals, way more of the connections are little local ones. There's far fewer of the long distance ones. There are way more local ones. What does that produce? Little pockets, little modules of function that are isolated from other ones. And that, in some ways, is what's going on functionally in someone with autism. There is a lack of integration of a whole bunch of these different functions there. And that's what happens when you have maybe a mutation or maybe some epigenetic something or other prenatally that changes the shape of the power law distribution.